Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So today, I'm going to be playing some Dream Daddy. What's up with that? And we got Pabst here as well. Up, peoples? So, I've been struggling to get everything set up. Hopefully the sound and everything's good. If there's a problem, let me know. We'll figure this bad boy out. We'll get this party started properly. Now, why the hell is my stream not showing up on YouTube on my end? It's, oh, it's showing up. I see it. It showed the Dream Daddy um, logo, right? It didn't show the 1080 snowboarding one, right? No. <laughs> okay, because on my phone, that's why I was confused. It had 1080 snowboarding. But, ladies and gentlemen, I, I think we're, we're good to go. Oh, yeah, and my chat is working. Uh-oh, stream froze. Stream did not freeze, did it? No, no, no. We're good. We're good, guys. So we're going to get this party started. This is essentially the first time I've booted up this game. I mean, it's, I've been having it booted up for a few minutes here, but I haven't, I haven't pressed anything other than options. So we're going to go ahead and get this party started. Check out new game. And the beverage of choice today is a big-ass goblet type thing of fucking mead. Mm. Oh, fuck. That shit's harsh. I could just <laughs> feel the testosterone. <laughs> so we got question mark Z. Somebody's, you know, I'm sleeping. I guess Amanda. Dad. Ooh. Amanda. Oh, wait. That's his daughter, Dad. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it just got freaky fast. Yeah. Dad, Dad wake up. Oh, I got, a, I got an option. I got to pick wake up, pretend to be dead. Five more minutes. No rolling rock. I have some rolling rocks, but I, I wanted the drinks, the, the you know, a Viking type drink. You know, I need to, I need to pump it up here today. Let me see. Yeah, they don't sell lamb's blood at the, uh, at the distillery. I'll go ahead and wake up for this little brat. Finally open my eyes. I finally open my eyes and sit up. So this is like a, a fucking narration like they're not talking i'm lying in the middle of the room spooning a moving box i yawn and stretch i wonder if there's a hole in that box <laughs> morning manda panda so is this not voiced over because if it's not voiced over we could always do the voices we just need to figure out who's going to be what part yeah it sounded like right now this amanda girl she went uh i think unless that was you <laughs> no <laughs> dad was a cute what is this? Who, Country Cleta's dad, wake up. Mommy's home. Dick in the box. <laughs> <laughs> dad tip right, number 80. Please exactly don't pirate games. Out of this stream, so keep it coming. And smash that freaking like button. Ooh, build that oh, dad. Yes. Dude, Simon Belmont. Make Simon Belmont. <laughs> <laughs> who, who just said the game looks dumb as fuck? Big Dave? It, it probably Dave, is. Give it a chance, man. Give it a chance. We got we to gotta build this dad, so... Man, I need to move my Skype thing out of the way. It's 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 fucking up my game, man. Hold on, hold on. There we go. We're good. So bod. Are we going? Are we go look like a gay skinhead. <laughs> are we going with the 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 chiseled abs or the? Uh, I don't know. Oh, Do they have wait, wait, wait a minute. Like these two are very oh. similar. So you can go furry chest and a belly, sh you know, furry chest and a full on, you know. Uh, wife tank top, beater. wife beater, whatever you call it. Or you can go... Daddy beater? I mean, let's... Yeah, uh, yeah. Or you can go, you know, crop top, fucking... <laughs> <laughs> and then, add and then what if... in the crotch area? Oh, my God. Chub dad. We're going... We got to go with chub dad, but... Furry... Fat, fat Simon Belmont. For, what, what skin tone do we want here? We got to pick a skin tone. Oh, we got we to have... Oh, you can choose if you want hair or not. I, you gotta go hair. You can't be that big and be a friend. <laughs> okay, so let me see. Skin tone, I guess. Now, we don't want to be albino. What the fuck's up with that? Uh, you know, that's fine. You know, they don't, they don't have no off the wall. We'll go with that. All right. Looking good, daddy. <laughs> okay, now the head. The head shape. I don't know, that, that square jaw might be the Simon Belmont jaw. This one or this one? Uh, the one on the bottom right or the one on the bottom left? I think the bottom right one, because the one on the bottom left is like um, like MMA jaw. 
Oh, you could do a little shadow? Yeah, we do a little shadow. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Okay, so now we're moving on the air. Oh, man, we got too many fucking options here. They have a Viking haircut. Oh, we, wait, they got Cloud. Oh, we can... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I I don't I don't know. You tell me. Um, I think the one you yeah that one right there that's very Simon Belmontish. What color are we looking for? Uh, brown. And maybe if they got like one of those real thin like rope headbands, that would that would that work. would be nice. We'll have to get to those options. So that that looks good, right? Okay, now nice. just pick dreamy. <laughs> 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 yes. Yes. <laughs> What is? Oh my god! Sad anime face. Uh, this one's like. <laughs> this is like, coke, coke, coke bender. <laughs> what is this nonsense? Oh, this is the best game ever. Wait, and I know we got. Oops, I know we got more options here. I know we got to have more. <laughs> oh, we got like we got Dragon Ball Z eyes. So which? What are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Some of these just look sad, man. Oh, look at that. Ferocious. Like Vegeta eyes. <laughs> so which ones are you voting for? I don't know. We need some we need some uh, from some chat participation. We've got twenty nine people that can chime in and hit this hit the like button, please. Yeah. Eight likes. Twenty nine of you watching. I don't know. I think we just need to hurry up and move on with the eyes. What do you think? Oh gosh! If we're, we're if we're gonna stick with the uh, Simon Belmont, is, can you scroll down some? Are there more? No, there's no more. The shit on the side of my screen that you probably see that they can't see is the Skype box. Yeah. I thought it was a scroll box, but it's not. Let's do. Let's do. Make him look like Buffalo Bill. <laughs> <laughs> let's do second row, third to the right. I'm gonna get let's fucked up off that. of this. This one. Let's see. Yeah, he's got a little saucy, saucy look in his eyes. That's okay. What color? What color eyes? Black. You gotta go black. Okay. Yeah. So we did eyes. Now let's move on to noses. Dude, as dick wide as possible. Dick nose. Fucking little nose. Pointy nose. Hey, that could come in handy. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you think? That one? Yeah. Mouths. Now this is what really. This is what really matters. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, that's charming. Uh, I would, look, go for like the, uh, uh, the uh, a cartoon with uh, with with very. Uh, there we go. There we go. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, dude. Buck tooth smiley face is pretty cool. I'm gonna see what that looks like. Wait, that one's a tongue. No, that's, that's a tongue. Ew. Oh, gosh, that could work. The puckered like, mmm, I'm hot mm. stuff. Now I think this one, this that's, one's pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah. Let me you, see, you lip, got, you... lip color? We could do a little... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, the blue lipstick was hot. Uh, we'll, we'll go with the normal tone there, I think. Okay, yeah, that, that works. All right, so we need some angry, I'm going to kill some vampire eyebrows. This is for all Castlevania 3 fans. They didn't vote for this. <laughs> um, this one, a little uh, gash. Yeah, I don't know. What's, is that a thing? Is that intentional gash, or is that like I just uh, had a rough spat with a werewolf gash? Yeah, I'm not sure, but I think we're going with that f facial hair. Um, oh, that that totally gets rid of the uh, the look there, though. Yeah, I think we got to go with just the scruff. Just leave it, leave it as is. Yeah. Oh, you could do glasses. I could have made myself on here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they, yeah, they got the aviators too. There we go. Now we don't want glasses though. No glasses. No glasses. Piercings. No belly piercings going on here. Yeah. <laughs> so, so no piercings. What the fuck? Not unless they had like a crucifix one, because that might be slightly no. Bell mounted. No, they didn't have nothing. Oh, there we go. Do they have swine apple shirts in here? Any swine apple shirts? <laughs> Any Phil's Doodle stuff? I mean, come on. This guy's got to know. Ooh, cheeseburger. With the fucking little, uh, <laughs> fucking sweatband. sweatband. Just a cane. <laughs> I mean, he does have hairy arms. 
How come we don't get to pick? Or, oh, it, okay, it's a complete outfit. I was going to say, how come we don't get to pick the pants? Dude, the egg one's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. What, what are people saying? Nobody said big beard for that bear daddy. This guy owns a strip club. Trans dad. It's Mr. Mom. Give him a snively whiplash stash. Where's the depend <laughs> egg tits? Egg tits. We gotta, we gotta go for the egg tits. We gotta we gotta vote for egg tits and the the the, the burger shirt, I think. I mean I, I kinda like yeah. both of them. Dude, the burger ship the, the burger shirt reminds me of like um what was that? Oh, show? what about uh, this one? I fucking totally Boogie missed Night. that one. Yes. I, <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna body slam you and be fabulous doing it. Uh what do you guys think? Black cloth so, egg tits with is my favorite. What is what is this? Meow. <laughs> this isn't even a little bit stereotypical. Not even a little bit. So are we going for egg tits? We got two votes for egg tits. We're going for egg tits. I did like the skull shirt. Oh, we got two votes for the burger shirt now, though. Yeah, the burger shirt was by close second. Hmm. One more vote. Whatever between egg tits and burger shirt. Next one gets it. That's who we're playing as. Burger shirt. Oh, so when he pop, Tipper egg. popped in there with the egg. Did he already Steve, vote? Did man. he already vote? No, he voted. He voted. Voted skull shirt first. So we're we're looking good, Daddy. He changed his vote. That's all right. <laughs> Let's go with the egg titties. <laughs> Ooh, what should we name him? Simon Belmont. I don't know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Be that dad. Hang on, Daddy. Show your egg tits. Yeah, we're signing <laughs> Belmont. It's never too early to invest in a personal IRA. That's dad tip number two. Oh, I missed dad tip number eight. Did you fall asleep packing? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'll, I'll read I'll read my parts, I guess. Okay, and I'll read all the other ones. Yeah. Right, let, CAC Belmont. We, we missed a whole opportunity there. Mr. Cannon fodder, CAC Belmont. We should have went with CAC <laughs> Belmont. Uh, maybe if we, you know, because there's mo there's multiple opportunities in this game to change, you know, to restart and get different endings from what I've read. So, hey, maybe next time. But, okay. We're Simon Belmont. We're going to identify as Cack Belmont for the moment. Simon Cack Belmont. So, I'm going to read, you know, the characters' lines, and you can read the others. Swineapple Belmont. Fuck, that was missed one, too. All right. All right, here we go. I got most of it done, I think. <laughs> Searching around the room. It looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed except for one. Wait, straggler. Are, are, are you gonna What's in it? <laughs> you gotta feminize that voice a little bit, huh? Looking into the box, I see a bunch of old photos with little photo album and little photo albums. Whoa! I haven't seen these in years. <laughs> Cack is his middle. I pull out one of the dusty albums from the top of the pile and we begin looking through it. <laughs> uh. You don't have the baby egg tit shirt? Oh, She's got an egg button on her shirt, though, so she knows about the egg tit shirt. <laughs> Your line. That's the coolest baby I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the only way your father and I, the only way your mother and I, what? Oh. Whoa. Oh, it's an option. Oh, uh, oh, my God. Which... Oh, wait, you got to go like. Full, wait, you got to go either transition or traditional. Which way are we going here? I don't know. I think we need a vote. Oh my God! The only way your father and I, but couldn't if he was if he was with another man. Oh, you know what? No, because this this could go. You know, her skin tone's a little darker. You know, it could be you know multiracial type thing. No big deal. But that could uh, that we could got a my two dads. It could have. That's it. two dads. There we go. The only way your father and I, the only way your father and I could get you to stop crying was to put the sunglasses on you. <laughs> Look at him, man. Look at him. <laughs> Just put the pillow over your face. <laughs> but whenever we tried to take them off, you'd start crying again. Ooh. You spent the first two years of your life with sunglasses on. Nice. <laughs> Halloween, when you were maybe four? Oh my god, dragon costume. You couldn't decide between being a princess or a dragon. So you went with both. Princess dragon. <laughs> Why do I remember crying in that dragon costume? 
You saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. Seeing yourself inside the dragon's mouth was a realization of your greatest fear, I think. <laughs> right? Yup. Definitely repressed that memory. <laughs> and this was you and your horse face. Yeehaw. <laughs> Dad. I believe you named that plush horse Sir Horsington the Brave. Amanda lunges for the photo, but I quickly snatch it away. I hold it above her head with my superior dad arms. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> nice try, but this is important blackmail for later down the road. <laughs> Go ahead and try me. I've seen pictures of you in your ska bra. Band ska bra. <laughs> ska bra. <laughs> Too many beers. Gotta drink faster. Ouch, kid. This communist manifesto had a chance back in the day. I look off into the distance and reminisce about that rad horn section. What? Hey, it's Emma P. No, Dad. That's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P. until high school. Honey, I promise you wholeheartedly that I will never stop mixing those two up. Dad, MR's been my best friend since I was seven. Give it, like, a little bit of effort. Oh, man. That's fucking some strong meat. Oh, right! Emma P was the one who... tried to steal people's pets, oh. fired a flaming tennis ball at the police station, pooped her pants during a sleepover. Yeah, she's a pants pooper. <laughs> Dad, that was me. I did that. <coughs> that oh, Oh. <laughs> and I was having a sleepover with MR, who isn't Emma P. <laughs> she never told anyone, though. True Blue, that MR. <laughs> anyway, I gotta show this to MR later. She'll get a kick out of it. <laughs> The, fro the first photography award you ever won. Yeah, and I got us $20 gift cards to McFridays. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got food poisoning from the cheesy Tostada blasts. <laughs> I think you mean food poisoning, you know, with a Z. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> Still can't drive past McFridays without gagging. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Still proud of you, though. <laughs> Amanda reaches deep down into the box and pulls out one last photo. Oh, neither of us say a word. We stare at the photo for a long moment. <laughs> I finally decide to break the silence. <sighs> wait, wait, wait. Was she, like, actually born? Or, you know, was she hatched? Did we adopt her? What happened here? Yeah, there wasn't a half hatched option. That would have been mine, but I think we got to go with adopted you. Uh, but, but look at her dad. Like you know, that's. Hmm. Or we could go with the story that. You know, I stole him away from you know her mom, and we kidnapped the baby and ran away. I don't know. <laughs> okay, we'll go with could adopted. Happen. Could have happened. It's a kind of funny story, you know. The day we brought you home, we got into a car accident. <laughs> just giving him some road head. <laughs> it wasn't anything big, just a little fender bender in the parking lot. But of course, I was freaking out. And the little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out. And I didn't know what to do. But your father, oh man. He holds my hand <laughs> and looks me directly in the eyes. Calmest I've ever seen him. He says, it's okay. It's all going to be okay. Memories. <laughs> he was right, you know. I stare at the picture for longer. Maybe too long. Giggity. I miss him. I can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. She pats me on the back. Come on, Pops. We gotta finish packing. The moving van won't wait forever. You're right. Well, Amanda and I pile into the car, take one last look at the old house. 
So many memories here. Hard to believe your father and I bought this place almost 20 years ago. Hey, remember when I shattered the front window playing catch? You always had very strong arms. Hey, remember when I shattered the other front window pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? <laughs> you were a very imaginative child, you little bastard. <laughs> Hey, remember when I broke the back window pool? We get it, Amanda. You break stuff. And there will be plenty more stuff for me to break in the new place. <laughs> you guys got to smash that like button, man. You guys really got to smash it. This is gold right here. Memories to make. Yeah, we, need to get, we need to get to 100 smashed like buttons. <laughs> Memories to make and stuff to break. You ready? We sit in silence for a moment. I watched my daughter grow up in this house. It will forever hold a place in my heart. But it stings a little bit to leave it behind. I'm ready. The moving van begins to pull away and I get the car in a position to follow it. I watch our house, our old house, disappear in the rear view mirror. So. So what? So sell me on our cool new pad. I clear my throat and do my best cheesy announcer voice. Nestled in beauty, scenic downtown Maple Bay, our new house features uh, multiple places to sleep. Not only are there bedrooms for your sleeping pleasure, but couches and floor space where you can, yes, catch a wink. What a deal. I mean, if sleep weren't for the week. <laughs> you sleep more than anyone I know. I admit my faults. I keep it real. <laughs> anyway, it's also smaller than our last house. This guy, we're living in the car. We got evicted. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was courtesy of Mr. Cannon. Good spin. I think it's great. Won't be closer to a lot of cool stuff that we can walk to. So I don't have to waste gas. And I mean trying to park down time downtown is you know amanda you know you're gonna have to learn how to parallel park at some point right not gonna happen pops i think someone needs to do a three-point turn on their attitude missy i don't know how you do that either have you met the neighbors yet not yet but the neighborhood seems pretty quiet so you won't have to chase any rowdy teens off your lawn? Oh, this fucking mead is harsh. Have you guys ever drank mead before? Delicious. <laughs> have you ever drank beer too quick and had to pee? Yeah, that's happened. What up, Matt Wheeler? You are the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. I'm in my last year of high school. I'm practically dust. Yeah, you're a real... Don't you dare. Senior. Dad, I know where this is going. <coughs> Gary Haylock's asking what is mead. Mead is like old school um, shit they drink. Meat liquor. It's, 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 it's honey wine, essentially, is what it is. And it's very easy to make if you make it. But I don't make it because I don't want to kill myself. But, you know, that's what they drank in, you know, medieval times and whatnot. You know, the... You know, Vikings and everybody, they drank mead. So I needed a good, hearty Viking type drink. So I got this big ass goblet. Was filled to the brim of mead, which is pretty bad. I don't know if you guys ever drank wine. It's similar to drinking wine, but tastes better, in my opinion. And just as, just as fucking uh, much alcohol. I hmm. need to take a power fist, or I'm not going to make it. I'll be right back. Two seconds. Bye. For sure. Yeah, it's very sugary. Very sugary. And I spilled some on my fucking uh, pop filter. <laughs> now it smells like mead. Didn't get none on my microphone, though. So we're good. We're good. So while Paps is taking a nice little piss break, how are you guys doing? We only got, you know, we got a handful of viewers right now. You guys got to make sure you smash that, uh, that like button. Let me get a few more sips on this before he comes back. Mm. 
I poured half a bottle into this. Man. Pretty crazy stuff, guys. But what's up, Gregor? Mike Manley? I'm doing good. Country Cletus. <laughs> we had to leave our old house. That had to have been impressive. <laughs> uh, okay, so, okay, you already read this line. You're back, right? Yep, back. Okay, let me move on then. Citizen? Oh, so, senior citizen? <laughs> I'm just going to... Oh, that's you. Ignore that. <laughs> I'm losing track now. Mikey, MLP, how much for the Jigglypuff? Those Amiibos, I'm not selling them separately. I just, you know, I'm going to post them up somewhere and try to get rid of them. But that's not what we're talking about today. But I won't forget it. So what's... What item number... Wait. So what's <laughs> item number one on the new house agenda? Well, first... We'll need to forge a path through the solid wall of boxes that's blocking the living room. I still have to install the washer and dryer. We need to go grocery shopping. Pops, cool your jets. You have to promise me that we're going to take a break and explore the neighborhood. Okay, okay, you're right. We'll get some work done, and then we'll check the area out for studs. Amanda's really X-23. There you go. We pull up to the new house. And so, this looks like the Simpsons house. We pull up to the new house <laughs> and step outside. The lawn is freshly mown, and the for sale sign is still in the yard. It's freshly. It doesn't look like anybody mowed that lawn. What the fuck are they talking about? Whoa! Hiya! <clears throat> and with a swift kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. Nice form, sweet pea. I got a problem with a far tie. <laughs> I'm so proud. Man, all that karate chopping tuckered <laughs> me out. I could really go for a sandwich. An ice cream sandwich. <laughs> Sweetie, it's 10 a.m. Mm. Did you even see all the dogs in the park nearby? I need some coffee ASAP. We need to unpack first. What do you guys think? Hmm. I'm sure whatever we decide, that's what's going to happen. Like, I, I'm having a feeling if if we decide to unpack first, we'll have some man meat come and visit us, you know what I mean? I think. Yeah, we just need to get the agenda going. So if we go to, if we get coffee, you know, there's probably going to be a hot, you know, barista or whatever you call them. Dog park, man, we're, we're finding some. Oh, yeah. We might find a bear or two there. Sarah says dogs. I think we're doing dogs then. Did you even see? All, all right, the, Sarah. <laughs> there we go. Did you even see all the dogs in the park nearby? There we go. You know it. Thank you for moving us into an area where the dog, where the dog to person <laughs> ratio is very high. <clears throat> Man, I choked on this shit. What's going on here? Momo Slappy, unlock hot coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I only want what's best for you. I hope you're prepared for the frequency at which I interrupt conversations to yell, Dog! To rock it way up. I mean, you do that a lot. Oh. Hey, it's a dog. Oh. Wait, false alarm. It was just a funny shaped rock. <laughs> if you want to see real dogs so bad, let's go to that park around the corner. Oh, yes. Dad tip number 39. They really. Ah. Oh. Oh. Fucking miss dog, dad tip, dog tip. I got to get this blood out of my clown suit. What the hell's going on, country Cletus? <laughs> <laughs> Amanda and I begin a stroll through the neighborhood. I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing in the street, flowers in bloom, and the faint smell of a nearby barbecue drifts through the air. This place is nice. Too nice. Don't, I don't trust it. Good eye, honey. You can never be too careful. See that baby in that stroller over there? Government Touch it. operative. <laughs> <laughs> We're on to you, baby. We walk for a while and eventually end up at a small park. Toddlers chase each other through the playground and dogs of all shapes and sizes romp through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but Amanda spots a nice empty bench. We start to make our way over to it when... Heads up. Ow. 
A frisbee suddenly hits me in the face. Are you going to play this? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> a corgi with a neat plaid handkerchief tied around its neck bounds up to me, wagging its tail. It pees on my foot. <laughs> hmm, I think I'm in the high fashion, so I like your necktie. Rough. He runs around in a circle and nudges my leg with his nose. Oh, God, this is the cutest dog. Oh, man, this could get good. <laughs> upon me or I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and pet the little doggy you gotta start at first base yeah but where do i but where do i pet the dog oh my oh, god oh boy <laughs> give him those head rubs we need some chin scratches in here there we tried the butt pats the butt which you gotta warm up for the butt scratches <laughs> uh yeah I'll, I'll give him a head rub you know he gotta seems to love a good head rub all smiles here it's, that's you. You definitely could have caught that. A guy in a ooh, a guy, <laughs> a guy in a Hawaiian shirt jogs over to us and takes the frisbee from me. You know, frisbees are traditionally caught with your hands, not your face. Damn it! Neckties means butt pat. He's right. Missed opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're traditionally not supposed to aim for. Oh, <clears throat> this is another. Uh, well, you're traditionally not supposed to aim for people's heads. It's a new technique. I'll catch it with my teeth next time. Yes. Grr. You gotta get aggressive with this <laughs> bear here. I'll catch he, it with he, my. He'll, he'll respond to that. You caught me off guard on this round. Not again. Not ever again. Ha! Oh, whoa! Did you see what just happened there? <laughs> that was uh. The heart flew off of me. That was some flirtiness ah. right there. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I'm Brian, by the way. Oh. I'm Simon. And this is my daughter, Amanda. Amanda Belmont. That's right. I look over <laughs> at Amanda, only to find her sitting on the ground, rubbing the dog's tummy. Hi. <laughs> Your dog's cool. Oh, old Maxwell sure loves the attention. <laughs> It's great to see another father and daughter out here on such a sunny day. He farted hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Where's yours? Mark in his territory. Hey, you, you, you talked over my line, man. <laughs> <laughs> Where's yours? Brian gestures over to a grassy knoll where a young girl sits on a checkered blanket. She's reading a book bigger than her head. She puts it down, heads over to us. Eat the dog, we're starving. <laughs> <laughs> this is Daisy. She's reading the Brothers Karamazov. Her teacher tells me that she has reading comprehension skills of a high schooler yeah. and the appetite <laughs> of me. How old is she? Ten. She's a precious little youngster. Whoa. My natural dad instinct kicks in. I must brag about my child's accomplishments. Oh no, it's happening. Boner time. Hello. <laughs> Hello, boner. Go on. Whoa. <laughs> what the hell is this? Shit just got real. This is Pokemon. This is you right here, though. Brian. Oh, yeah, I can't read my own name. <laughs> Go on, Daisy. Tell them about yourself. Um, I. <clears throat> That's my girl. Amanda. Get in there. I choose you, Amanda. Okay, okay. Simon's HP 80. Brian's HP 80. Uh-oh. Wait, DHTR? What the hell is that? What is? Uh, what the uh, fuck is that? I don't know. I think you have to find out to click it. Oh, my God. So do I brag or do I DHTR? Or do I check my items? Maybe I got something cool in there. Grade card, band-aid, spelling bee photo. Child art. No. How do so I go back? Lame. How do I go back? Band aid. Dude, band aid. Oh. With a flourish, you produce a band aid from your pocket. Take a knee and start to apply it to Amanda's arm. Fuck, man. What are you doing, Dad? Being a protective parent, of course. Anyone would agree. It is an unusual gesture. You lose 10 HP. Fuck. 
Daisy just started a weekly chess club at her elementary school computer lab. Nerd. She's the president, too, of course. Dang, my high school doesn't have a chess club or a computer lab. What you the hell, Simon? You lose 10 HP. Freaking ah, A. Dude. 60 and then Brian's at 80. Oh, my <laughs> God. Dude, just whip it out and just get 20 hit points back. Can't switch daughters. Amanda is your only daughter. Oh. Did I just take damage again? Oh, okay, I get the. Oh, I'm going to brag. Amanda here just recently won a local photography award. Wow. Oh, that's you. Wow. Congratulations. <laughs> Brian loses 10 HP. Ha! Oh, you hurt me. Daisy actually just won a statewide poetry contest. Suck it. 15 HP. What? Fuck. I need to whip something out here. I'm pulling out the grade. Wait, did she have good grades? Oh, uh, she can have shitty grades, dude. I'm pulling it out. You pull out a wrinkled copy of Amanda's last grade card out of your back pocket. Dad. Awesome grades. Brian loses 25 HP. Dude, what? Dude, she's smart. You really carry that around everywhere? Ouch. Maybe it's kind of weird. You lose. F I lost 5 HP for that. But you, I lost 25. <clears throat> Daisy sold enough candy bars this year to get the top prize, a canoe. Wow. We're taking it out next weekend. How is that even possible? Amanda could barely get one of those sticky hand things. It's extra powerful. <laughs> you lose 20 HP. I'm at 20. He's at 45. What? Oh, my God. I'm All child art is terrible. I'm pulling out the spelling bee photo. Fumbling through your phone's <laughs> browser, you managed to pull up a photo of Amanda winning her 10th grade spelling bee. Wow. Congratulations, Amanda. Daisy is getting prepped for her annual spelling bee right now. Hopefully this... Oh, that's you. Hopefully this will be her third win in a row. <laughs> Yikes. You lose 5 HP. Dude, bust out the dick pic. Come on. <laughs> just show them what you got. <laughs> This is you. Did I mention Daisy said her first word at 10 months? Jaddy. Amanda's was potty. Still cute, but maybe this is the time to bring it up. You lose 10 HP. Five to four. Oh, my God. I'm running. I'm running. I'm, I'm fleeing. Do you really want to flee? Yeah, yeah. No, don't flee. Come on. I got to. This is embarrassing. You got to lose. Maybe your power bottom. Okay. I'm going to bust out the art. You unfurl your wallet to reveal a tiny copy of a drawing of a cornucopia Amanda did in the first grade. Cute. It isn't very impressive, but Amanda genuinely appreciates you holding on to it. Brian loses 10 HP. You regain 20. Yes. yes. <sighs> Daisy here has. Uh, hold on. Daisy here has all of her adult teeth. <laughs> Never had a cavity either. Man, he's pulling for cavities at this point. You got him on the ropes. Amanda self-consciously pushes her lips together to hide her teeth. It's extra powerful. You lose 20 HP. Back to five. He's down to 35. Damn it. Uh, you just, just shank him. Last week, unprompted, Amanda helped an old woman with her grocery bags. Extra powerful. Words aren't all daily. Daisy's good at. By the way, her math is amazing. One time I actually called to double check my numbers before. I made a cut for a support beam. You did that more than once, Dad. <laughs> Where's the crotch grab option? That's what we really need. <laughs> Oh, my God. Smash that like button, guys. This is getting crazy. <laughs> Doesn't it say more about him than it does about Daisy? Still, I lose 10 HP. Dang, he's really got his beat. Boy, it's been such a treat getting to meet you two. Arg. 
Did you have to add insult to injury being such a gracious winner? I think that was my Wait, who won. That was you, uh, Brian won the big grizzly bear. So I think yeah. that was my narration line, but that's all right. So I take it you guys are new to the neighborhood. We just moved in. You live around here? Yeah. We live in the cul-de-sac down next to the coffee shop. What a coincidence. That's where we live, too. Small world. Yeah. Daisy and I are in that little ranch-style house on the corner. Wait, the corner of a cul-de-sac? <laughs> Maybe they can meet up at the manhole for a beer. <laughs> <laughs> I know that house. It's just like ours, but slightly bigger, better landscape. Does this guy have to outdo me at everything? What a lovely place. Well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Really nice to meet you guys. You'll have to stop by at some point. Mm. Baby, I don't know. I don't know about this guy. Pet my dog. Yeah, definitely bye. <laughs> <laughs> Brian <laughs> Daisy walk further into the park with Maxwell happily trotting along in tow. Hmm. Do you get the feeling that he was trying to one-up us? Trying and succeeding. I can't believe that kid's only 10. What was I even doing at her age? Uh, I believe you had a bit of a thing for horses. Shame that didn't pan out. Could have majored in comparative horse studies. It's not too late to minor in horse creative writing. Too close to the truth, Jad. Let us never speak of the fantastic adventures of Sir Horsington, the Brave, an epic seven parts by Amanda Belmont. <laughs> we laugh off the horse epic, walk around the park a bit more, enjoying the day. Hmm, and that was pretty exhausting. I, I don't, I don't think it's time to take a nap. I think we need to get some. Uh... We need to meet more men. Yeah, we Ryan need. Seems like a drip. Yeah, I think we need to go to the coffee shop. I need to get a little boost. I need to get my hands on a nice hot cup of the old bean juice. What? The old bean juice? <laughs> I'm going to be... does. The <laughs> face, he needs some bean juice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I got to get my hands on a nice hot copy of... Cop, cu All right, let me do this line again. Take two. I got to get my Drink hands faster. on... A, yeah. I got to get my hands on a nice hot cup of the old bean juice. You know what I'm talking about. Right. Or I'm going to be useless all day. I think we passed the coffee shop on the way here. <clears throat> Maybe we could check that out. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Horses, chaps, Starbucks I see a tham app. here. Chad R says he's got bean juiced in prison once. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. We walk down the street to the Coffee Spoon. Cute little place on the corner. Man, this is in such a convenient walking distance from our place. I mean, I guess. What's wrong? Why would I go somewhere else and drink coffee on a couch when I could just drink better coffee at home on my own couch and not have to make awkward eye contact with other people? At least when I'm home, some random guy is going to come up and sit on the recliner next to me. And I won't feel like a little weird about it because technically he's not sitting at my table. But he is very much within my personal zone. Dad. <laughs> oh, my God. <clears throat> and what's the etiquette when you have a dirty mug? Is there a bin? Do you go set it up on the counter because you don't know where else to put it? Or do you leave it there? And feel your face flush hot with shame as you consider the possibility that there is, in fact, a bin somewhere just out of sight. Now you're that jerk who left their mug. Zad, are you just afraid to meet new people? Yes, Amanda. We walk inside. Uh-oh. Look at Hello. this. Look at this stud. The inside of the coffee <laughs> shop. This beef boy. Ooh, I want your bean juice. <laughs> Dominican uh, bean juice. Oh my god. The inside of the coffee shop is incredibly warm and inviting. Vinyl records line the wall, and patrons lounge around on the well worn on well worn in couches. Some cool tunes spin on a record player next to a little stage. That's such you, Matt. 
Welcome to the coffee spoon, guys. How's it going? <clears throat> What's with the name? Oh, it's uh, it's kind of dumb. Dirty hipster. <laughs> Here comes the bean juice, fucking Phil. <laughs> 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 it gets mentioned in a poem I like. And though I was a good idea for the first time, and I suppose now it's still a good idea because, like, the business is still running. <laughs> but people ask me that question all the time, and I give them the same answer every time. And now I'm standing here rambling, and I'm sure we're all getting more and more uncomfortable, and more I keep talking about, man, we're in it now and I can't stop yeah, this guy doesn't shut up yeah <clears throat> I don't like this guy wow I, yeah so what'll it be I scan the chalkboard menu and I'm immediately overwhelmed I'll have a <laughs> a chai ant ward <laughs> <laughs> iced tegan and sarah uh, just give me the black coffee. A classic. Ooh. A classic. Oh, dude, you totally pressed me right there. Yeah, he just, the hearts? he just farted the hearts again. Yes, he did. Tipper Net saying Brian was better. I, I'm I'm thinking so. I don't, yeah, I, I don't know about this guy. <laughs> I don't, he doesn't have no impressive kid. Yeah, where's your kid at in your fucking 40 <laughs> with a handkerchief? <laughs> get out of here with that. I don't get it. Oh, it's a pun. Godspeed you, Black Emperor. It's really amazing and influential progressive rock band <laughs> known for their sweeping soundscapes and... Stop staring at my eggs. <laughs> Fucking pill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this guy's awkward. I'm doing the thing again. <laughs> Mr. Cannon Fodder says, Paps, do you have to do this in a Jamaican accent and say mon every, after every sentence? <laughs> okay, I'll try. I'm coming right up, man. And for you, I'll have a Makito de Marco, please. Coming right up. Do you want that in a small, medium, or biggie smalls, man? <laughs> uh, medium? Wait. Is Biggie Smalls big or small? <laughs> that kid sucks. Fucking country Cletus. I don't even know if I want to read that one out loud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's you. Where's your uh? Uh. <clears throat> oh, man. I should change that, shouldn't I, man? Matt sets to making our drinks, and Amanda and I take a seat on one of the couches. What's his deal? Let the man make his puns. They're cooler bands than you listen to, anyway. Hey. Hey. Scott was cool once. This couch is actually pretty comfy. Maybe not comfier than our couch, but it's all right. Good lumbar support. Sink right into it. Okay, it's comfier than our couch. Amanda nudges me. This place is right next to our house, and that guy seems not only cool, but also just as uncomfortable with talking to other people as you are. <laughs> you should totally become friends with him. Uh, I don't know. Come on. What do you say about meeting new people? I can't meet new people if I always stay inside and also don't go outside and I also don't talk to people. See, we're making progress. Matt sets her drinks down at our table, and I immediately burn the roof of my mouth. Good one. Hi. We're new to the neighborhood. I'm Amanda, and this is my dad, Simon. Oh, right on. Pleased to meet you both, man. Well, he's gonna... You ought to come by with my, my daughters hanging around in the shop. You two might get along. Oh, he's nice. Got he's got a kid, too. Nice. Yeah, I'm sure we'll maybe come in from time to time. 
Mm, come in from time to time. <laughs> Dad, get yourself some of that hot chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda kicks my leg from under the table. I'm sure we'll be in here a lot. You know what? Let me get you guys an opinion on something. Come on. <laughs> Matt goes into the back. Comes out with a fresh plate of something that smells amazing. Swine apple? I hope. <clears throat> I'm working on a new banana bread recipe, and I need help coming up with a name for it, man. Well, I think we're going to have to test, taste test it first so we can uh, get the full flavor profile of, you know, really... Appreciate the flavor sensations of Amanda nods vigorously. She knows this game. Yeah. We need to give that Nana Bread a taste if you want us doing free creative labor. I think that would be compens compensate with you. Uh. <laughs> I've taught her well. We've trained for this day. <laughs> I was just going to give you guys a free banana bread anyway, man. <laughs> right. Yes, that. Matt serves us each piece. Amanda and I happily chow that shit down. This is amazing. <laughs> Thanks. The secret ingredient is bananas. So, any ideas? I am stumped, man. Well... I think I might only be able to give you a dad band puns, but I'll give it a shot. Right said banana bread. That's the one. That's, That's the one. <laughs> like, ooh, what it, he, ooh, he farted out the fucking parts again. Like, right said Fred, but now it's about banana bread. I think the youngsters would like it despite not getting it. That actually has a nice ring to it, man. <laughs> Burned his mouth on that hot bean juice. <laughs> <laughs> really? Right. Said banana bread. Strong decisions. That's art, baby. I wanted to say baby because I thought it would sound cool, but once I said it, I realized that it doesn't sound coming good coming out of my mouth and maybe I should just leave saying baby to the professionals more awkward silence Yeah. enjoy your coffee thanks baby <laughs> yeah, don't get your bean juice on my uh, egg tits <laughs> boom see it sounds good when you say it cack bread <laughs> <laughs> Across the oh uh oh uh oh, oh, oh. Whoa. we've got Jones. we've got competition guys. Uh, yes. <laughs> Across the way, a man catches my eye. He sits by himself, brooding over a cup of coffee. Our eyes meet, just for a moment. <laughs> oh shit! I hastily look away, hoping he didn't catch me staring. Who is that? We finish up our drinks and head out. Thanks for stopping in, man. Take care, baby. <laughs> okay. Now that we're full of caffeine, where to? Uh, yeah, let's just start unpacking, man. We just had our coffee. I think we're good to go. Let's go ahead and unpack. I've got a lot on my plate right now. Did you know that moving is one of the biggest sources of stress for adults? Is it right behind the constant fear that you smell bad and everyone's too polite to tell you? <laughs> Probably. Do I smell bad? Amanda gives me a whiff. You're fine, Pops. Let's go home. Start building credit as early as possible. God, they don't give you much time to read the fucking dad tips. I think the dad tips are a very important lesson in this game. Us straight guys need the dad tips. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I get to work unpacking the various boxes around the living room. A couple hours pass. Get some good work done. Washer dryer unit. It's both washing and drying. We can actually walk through uh, the living room without tripping over boxes. 
<laughs> Mikey 129, the smell of bleach and stool. <laughs> <laughs> First visitor already. Smash that light bucket. Yes, yeah, sm- smoish that loik button. <laughs> I walk over to the door and open it. I'm really hoping it was that hot dad I seen in the fucking coffee shop. Dude, your blood is in the water, dude. Everybody's going to come visiting you now. <laughs> the new gay guys now. <laughs> You're the fresh fish. Man swarm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This is freaking beautiful. Hello. A handsome... Oh, no. A handsome, oh, clean-cut man stands at my door. club guy. Brandishing a plate of cookies. Are they shaped in hearts? I hope. Hell. Oh. Oh, where are my manners? My name's Joseph. I'm your next door neighbor. Oh, yes, hi. I'm Simon. That's what my name is. Simon motherfucking Belmont represent... Biatch! (laughs) I saw the moving van and I thought I'd bring over some cookies. My daughter Christy wanted me to let you know that she baked them herself. All these dudes with fucking daughters. What's going on here? I want to find a dude that has, you know... No, I don't even want to say it. Never mind. Uh, fat little boy. <laughs> likes was, video games. No, I was going to say a hot young, you know, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Stereotypical gay dad. Captain N is next. Captain N is next. <laughs> <laughs> a wife. This is going much better than Castlevania. <laughs> <laughs> much more laughs. Yeah, that Castlevania whooped my ass, man. I was not mentally prepared for playing that fucking gear and cog shit for an hour. <laughs> Dude, you were fucking horrible. <laughs> Disgrace to the Castlevania community. Man, that just killed it. That killed it for me. But I'm I'm practicing though. Okay, let's let's continue. Let me get a I gotta sip this mead. When you smell like cack bread, people are gonna notice. <laughs> that mead mm. come on joseph leans in and whispers man i don't want this dude's fucking cock breath in my ears but between you and me she just sprinkled in the chocolate chips mm. we both share a laugh kids right mr cat fodder dick shaped cookies you could only hope man Uh-oh, wow here's... cookies huh yeah i'm drinking mead old school gamer drink freaking a Frickin' goblet of mead. Had to. Had to drink that big manly Viking drink while we play this game. <laughs> just to even things out just a little bit. Wait, you did you read that line? What? Wow, cookies, huh? You read that? Or did Oh wow, cookies, huh? <laughs> so nice to meet you. Joseph hands her the plate of cookies with a smile. Well, thanks for the cookies. Hope do, they don't got roofies in them. Do these cookies smell like ether? <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Amanda, the little brat, disappears with my cock cookies. Damn it. Amanda, come back! And she's gone. Ah, oh, dude. <laughs> Amanda, they're dick-shaped. <laughs> That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. Daughters are tough. Son's also tough. Does he have a boy, too? What's going on here? Children in general are just tough children. I hear that. I mean, there'd have to be something wrong with you to try to raise more than two. I have four kids. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. We're not going for this guy. He's got some baggage. Fuck that. (laughs) What have you done? Oh. uh, (laughs) I meant... (laughs) <laughs> don't worry I didn't mean to be rude oh no this is the first neighbor I've met and my social life is already in a tailspin wonder if it's too late to move again uh yeah okay is the missus around mister actually and er <laughs> just the way it <laughs> Just look at him, man. Look at the, the egg tits. The <laughs> well, I got egg tits, man. There's no missus, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, not anymore. He died. <laughs> <laughs> 
What a pickup line! Oh, oh my god, I'm sweating here, and it's not just because it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking country Cletus, man. He's killing it tonight. He's killing it. <laughs> <laughs> the missus drank herself to death in a bathtub. <laughs> I don't know, man. She was just trying to make toast in the bathtub. It just went bad. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry for your loss. No, no. It's all right. Wow, this is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. I'm sorry. Can you close the door real quick? Wait, what? I look at Joseph quizzically but comply. After a second, I hear a knock on the door. Opening it, I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. Uh-oh. Hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise not to talk <laughs> about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue for a cul-de-sac, and I'd love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighborhoods in our community. What do you say, pal? That sounds great. My daughter and Amanda would love to stop by. Hope you guys got kielbasa on the grill. <laughs> also, four kids is a perfectly normal amount of children to have. Yeah, perfectly normal. We shake hands to seal the deal. Oof. Well, neighbor, I'll see you at 3 p.m. sharp on Saturday. <laughs> Wait, what? <did> the... <laughs> Didn't this Joseph dude notice the phallus cactus on the coffee table? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I just... <laughs> <laughs> right. Or the phallus bird? Uh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> uh, okay, did you say this line? <laughs> it's going, yes, I did. It's going to be a sausage party. Sure thing, neighbor. Joseph starts walking away, but stops to think for a second and turns around while I'm staring at his cute ass. <laughs> hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about stuff, I'm the youth minister at the church down the street. Uh, we're not going after this guy. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a youth, but I could play one. You look pretty young, but suit yourself. And with that, Joseph's gone. He seemed nice. Amanda walks back into the living room. Crumbs on her face and cookie in hand. Fucking punk. Yeah, that was... All my yeah, eating all my cock-shaped cookies. That was the smoothest recover <laughs> I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. See? You're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go, brat? They're gone. I'm sorry. If it makes you feel any better, I'm very sleepy, and I think I'm going to pass out. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't very good. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, shit. It's like, it's a little late. So you ate all of them anyway? I guess that makes it break time. Any ideas? What the fuck? There's only one option. I guess, Joseph, I don't want to go after this dude, though. I think we get a ton of good neighbor points if we bring this back. We're going to be the best neighbors in this whole cul-de-sac because we bring back dishes. Yeah. We're going to kick all the other neighbors' butts. Ooh. Dude. <laughs> Dude. Dude, bruh. With kindness. <laughs> Amanda and I step outside. Shoot. Dude, we got to keep this going. Shoot. I'm actually not sure which house this is. I'd hazard a guess it's the big one with all the well-groomed blonde children <laughs> in the yard. <laughs> Get the plate and use the banana move that Matt used on him. <laughs> Good eye, kid. And remember, we need to make a positive first impression here. Keep it light. Man, this shit, just like we barely ate the cookies, you know what I mean? Or she ate them. We walk up to the kids and wave. What's up? You Aryan oh, motherfuckers. <laughs> fucking children Dude. of the corn looking motherfuckers. Look at that, man. Dude, it... Hey, Tell guys. Me, man, there's, some, 
white supremacy going on here. Yeah, what is this, man? These blonde-haired, blue-eyed freaks. Oh my God, he's an Aryan. <laughs> <laughs> Children of the corn, exactly. <laughs> hey guys, is your hot dad around? I mean, dad around? They all just stare at us blankly. We just wanted to uh, return this nice plate. And thank you, little motherfuckers, for the cookies. Jeez, these definitely are Joseph's kids. They all look exactly like him. They were really good. I mean, I heard they were good. I didn't get to eat any of them. I chuckle nervously. Well, okay, we're just going to set this plate down on the ground real gentle and then back away slowly, right, Dad? Right, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> the kids' eyes bore into us as we scurry away. I could feel their, ga I could feel their gaze on the, my back even as we approach our house. All right, do you need to fill your mead? <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm still good. I need something to get my mind off of those carbon copy children. If you need, did you need to get up and get a refill or what? I, need, I, dude, I just pounded four beers. I need more. Okay, well, go ahead. I'll read your lines for right. a second if, if I right. have to to keep it moving along. Boom! I need to rest my eyes. You've been awake for what? Three hours? And that's three hours too many, kid. Nap time. That's tip number forty. Managing debt is just part of. Fuck. So we're walking home. I hear heavy footsteps coming up behind us. Simon, bro. I turn around. I'm greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. What the? <laughs> Craig. Bro. Bro. Holy wow. I haven't seen Craig in like forever. It's been too long, dude. <laughs> Gregor, I don't know what he's drinking. I'm drinking, I'm drinking this mead. I already had a head start, but man, it's been too long, dude. Yeah, wow, you look great, bro. Haha, ha, yeah, I cleaned up my act. Got off the heroin. Cleaned up his act. Are you kidding me? He's ripped. What? Amanda, this is my friend Craig. Went to college together. Fold around a bit. We were roommates for a while, too. Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. Hello, and hello, cute baby. Ah, oh, thank you. Last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. This is River. Say hi, River. He picks up her tiny wrist and waves it around. River gurgles happily. Are you babysitting, bro? Nah, dude. River's my kid. Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to exams with bad hangovers and sore butts. The next, we're both fathers. Where you been, man? I was working out in California and just relocated the business back to Maple Bay. He's kind of got that bra, you know, like that bro fucking, you know, voice. I don't know, he says bro every once in a while. Completely terrified child strap. Yeah, no kidding. Amanda and I just moved to this side of town. How's Smashly doing? Smashly? What? Who's he Smashly in? I mean, Ashley. Ashley is her name. She actually still goes by Smashly, and uh, we got divorced last year. Wink. Mm. Oh, dude. I'm so sorry. It's old news. We take turns taking care of River and the twins. It's all copacetic. Twins? You have three kids? Ain't life something, bro? <coughs> Light. Open your mind, Quaid. Open your mind. <laughs> the, 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 fucking, the, fucking, the fucking Quaid, baby. <laughs> Ain't life something, bro. Oh, that's you, man. Did you already read that? Oh, we'll skip it. Keg Stan Craig is a father of three. What? Keg Stan Craig? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah, it was my old college nickname. Among a few others. He got it because he did a lot of keg stands. I injured my eyebrow doing a keg stand. 
<laughs> it's that thing where you do a handstand on a keg and then drink from the keg. <laughs> the more second keg for heroin. Stand. <laughs> right? He was very good at it and a few other things. Ah, uh, bro, I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of a daily jog and I really got to keep my heart rate up. Brought River along for, you know, resistance training. And to, you know, jumble up that baby's brain, you know, all that. <laughs> Come on now, who jogs with a freaking baby? You jog daily? I jog yearly, bro. <laughs> On January 1st, when I promised myself that I'm going to jog daily for the rest of the year. But give up after 30 minutes and just walk home. Well, it's never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me sometime. Haha, uh-huh, I don't know. Come on. It'd be fun. We could grab breakfast afterwards, catch up. We could do a bro lunch like the good old days. (laughs) All right. Sure. Sounds great. Great. Let's get that going soon. I better get moving. Good to see you guys. Craig gives a little wave, puts his earbuds back in, and jogs off. Can't believe Craig is ripped and has kids. I'm reeling. (laughs) Why is that? The Craig I knew is not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including and especially himself. One time I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. (laughs) Amanda, he opened up a new jar of marinara sauce, and then he drank it like it was a thing that normal people do. It was unholy. And I asked him, what the hell was he doing? And he said, I quote, it's basically a smoothie, bro. (laughs) (laughs) He's practicing. (laughs) I mean, technically, he's not wrong. (laughs) He jogs. He was jogging. He's like a totally different person. Anyway, better get home. I'll have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. Egg tits. Amanda and I flop down onto the couch. Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out of the way before she can sit. Too bad we're going to be putting my stuff right back into these boxes in a few months. No, don't say that. Aw, oh, Dad, it's going to be okay. I'll be fine. Really? I know. I know. It's just, you're my little girl. It's going to be weird not having you around. Wait, you're getting rid of me? <laughs> I'll come visit, and I'll text you every day, and I'll take lots of pictures. <laughs> Nanny cam. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I'm a photographer major. A photography major. You promise? Of course. Are you going to be okay all by your lonesome? I don't know. There's a lot of man meat in this community. (laughs) Oh, come on. I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. (laughs) It's like a dude magnet. It sure is. Dude, Phil, start making egg tit shirts. (laughs) Oh, let me get my chat back up. <laughs> a dog? Forget art school. I'll stay for the dog. Is that what it's going to take? Medium-sized dog, handkerchief around the neck. I get to name it. That's what it costs for me to give up all my dreams. I'm a woman of simple wants and needs. Now, I already know. From my little bit of research on this game, there's multiple endings, right? Multiple dads you can multiple dads you can go after. So I'm thinking one of the better endings is gonna be hooking up with that dude Brian with the fucking dog. That's gonna please the daughter, man. I don't know. So far I think Brian's winning it. Well, dog is a lot cheaper than college. <clears throat> Amanda laughs. Suddenly a pile of envelopes slides through the mail slot. Uh oh. Do we got a hot mailman? Tax man. Speaking of college, Amanda darts over to the envelopes and shuffles through them. She pulls one out and throws the rest back on the floor. So you get a stack of envelopes, you know, that your first day in your new place? All right. (laughs) This is from McGowan College of Art and Design. Open it! But I'm scared. It's just an envelope. 
Yeah, it's just like my entire future, not a big deal. She takes a deep breath, rips the letter open with her teeth. We have a letter opener, but okay. Hold my breath while Amanda's eyes dart back and forth, scanning that there letter. What does it say? Uh, the administri- admissions committee has reviewed your application, but blah, 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 um, we... Her face drops. <clears throat> Regret to inform you that you were unable to offer your admission to a McGowan College of Art and Design. Amanda throws a letter on the coffee table. Oh, sweetie. It's okay. I kind of saw it coming. I knew I shouldn't have put that experimental stuff in my portfolio. The admissions officer told me they just want to see portraits or whatever. I pull Amanda in for a big hug. Mm. You're an amazing big photographer. Daddy hug. I know how much work you put into your portfolio. Some other school is going to want to snatch you up for show. Yeah, I know. It's fine. I mean, look at that. He's got an Xbox controller right there. Are you oh, actually, Look at that. Are you actually fine, or are you just saying <clears throat> that? I'm fine, really. Her face says the opposite, but I probably shouldn't push her on this. Oh, and before I forget, Emma R. and Emma P. are sleeping over tonight. Oh. Wait. Oh, my God. So, get out. You, the house. you need me out of the way because I'm painfully uncool? <laughs> I would choose more delicate phrasing, but yes. Well, I'll have you know that I conveniently already have plans for tonight. So you'll have the new place to yourself. Yeah? Well, are, what are your plans? Quick, think of plans. I'm going clubbing. Yeah, go cruising, baby, with your egg tits. I'm going to put on a nice outfit and go tear it up on the dance floor. All the hottest dance moves, the lawnmower, the sprinkler, the running man, you know, the ones all the kids these days are doing. The swine apple swallower. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but I'm not going to come pick you up and pull anything this time, not again. Yeah, you see that they're pointing out her little egg pin on her jacket. I think yes. you mentioned that earlier, but yeah. Yep. Nice little touch. I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to go out and watch the game. Yeah. Nice. Which game, should I ask? You know, the game. The one that's on tonight. The game on TV. Somewhere other than here. Okay, cool. While you do that, I'm going to do drugs and commit some light arson with the Emmas. I'm concerned you're hanging with the wrong crowd. Amanda shrugs. I would have expected you guys to be up to white-collar crime by this point. Maybe money laundering at the least? I'm a street rat, Pops. You're kidding about drugs and crime, right? Yes, Dad. Just making sure. I give her a pat on the head. Did you pass Have out? Have fun with your sports. <laughs> the game of hide your sausage. The old bean juice game. <laughs> Are you being sarcastic? No, making fun of sports is played out. <laughs> All right then. Oh nice. Appreciate that, Paps. Appreciate it. We had almost you got twenty eight likes, so I mean that's kinda there. Nice. Hold on, let me get this back up. I, was just, I do some light cleaning around the house. Decide to clear out right before Amanda's friends arrive. Before I leave, Amanda stops me. Hey, don't forget that you have the meeting with the English teacher tomorrow. Oh, right. Mr. Vega. Oh, yep. Mr. Vega. Totally remembered. I'll be there. Hey, appreciate that, Gary. What up, Gary? <laughs> Country Cletus, 25 bucks buys a lot of hot bean juice. <laughs> it does. It sure does. <laughs> Appreciate it, guys. Try to execute regularly. Exercise regularly. Wow, I guess I really didn't think this plan through. I'm not entirely sure where the closest bar is. And Amanda still hasn't shown me how to use the GPS on my phone. So I'm just going to have to pick a direction and walk in it. Let's go. This way.
All right, let's try to get the 50 likes because 50 likes is a good place to be right now. Yeah, where are we at right now? I can't even. My, my... 29 likes. We need another 21 likes. Yeah, let's so get like up some stuff. Yeah, let's let's like this. You know what I'm saying? Cool. Okay, we're marching. We're marching in the direction of the game. Any game, really. In the distance, could it be? Uh oh. <laughs> oh, Jim and Kim's. A, a Where's Kim? <laughs> what the hell? A wild dream daddy Jim appears. <laughs> A big burned out neon sign high hangs above the tiny dive bar. Jim and Kim's, huh? All right, I'll do it. Smash that like button. Thank you, Egg Chen. The bar is small and dimly lit. The the I was gonna say the cack. The, the crack. The crack of the cack of pool ball. The cack and balls sounds in the back as patrons laugh and joke. A string of multicolored Christmas lights hover above the bartender. I can't tell if he's Jim or Kim. Pull up a seat at the bar. What? Oh, that's you. What'll it be? One beer, please. Sure thing, boss. Mm. Bartender slides me an ice cold beer. Take a sip and enjoy the refreshing taste. Mm. Say, so are you Jim or are you Kim? I'm Neil. Oh. Neil and Bob. Oh, I awkwardly turn my attention to the game. Just playing on one of the TVs on the wall. As luck would have it, my team of preference is not only playing, but is currently in the lead, which is always a good thing. Yeah, give me one of those bean juice martinis, please. The, bright <laughs> <laughs> the brightly colored mascot, which is some kind of animal, does cartwheels. I silently cheer on my favorite team, hoping that I don't get into any confrontational arguments with a fan of the opposing team. Several people in this bar are wearing the distinctive colors of the team I dislike. Although I believe from their demeanor that, like me, the passion for their team is all in good fun. Wow, there we go. Just is, brought it all down. Now, is this really a middle-aged <sighs> woman? Oh, uh, come on. No, seriously. Is this really a middle-aged woman, or is this something else? Food for thought. We'll find out. Middle-aged woman holding a nearly empty wine glass slides up to the bar and sits uncomfortably close to me. Hey, sailor. Now, I think her voice is a little deeper than that. <laughs> hey, sailor. Oh, hello. Good to see fresh meat in here. I'm Mary. Come here often? Oh, no. I actually just moved to this part of town today. I'm Simon. Simon Belmont, by the way. Are you watching the game? Yeah. <laughs> I've got to adjust my balls. <laughs> my preferred team is... I like how it's like, <laughs> my preferred team. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Yeah, my preferred... Okay. Let's, let's get back into it. Yeah, my preferred <laughs> team is in the lead. They keep this up, they'll win. The game with ease. Oh, I love that team. And also, I love that game. I love someone who knows their way around balls. <laughs> <laughs> Best game ever. Hit that like button. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm getting the impression that she's a little drunk. Uh. Buy a girl a drink. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm buying her a drink, man. Yes. Buy it's, me a drink, bitch. I almost reluctantly signal the bartender over and order Mary another glass of wine. Neil jokes back and forth with Mary. They're clearly friends, and this clearly isn't her first time doing this. What a hussy. And she tips her glass at me. Suppose you're going to keep your company now. <laughs> so, what do you want to know? <laughs> uh, what do you think of the game? What's the latest? No, I want to know what's your deal. Me? I'm a ghost. I'm in the Howard Hives of Jim and Kim's. 
waiting for my beloved to return from sea. The twist is going to be she's actually Jim who runs this bar. That's what I'm thinking. (laughs) (laughs) Jim and Kim. (laughs) There you go. Really? No. Homegirl just loves a drink. The crocodile Dundee her ass. <laughs> <laughs> so what else can you tell me about this part of town? It's quiet. That's for sure. If you want an idyllic little life with white picket fences, this is the place to do it. But every town has its secrets, you know. <laughs> just like the secrets between her legs. <laughs> <laughs> she takes a sip of her drink That was a little too ominous for my taste She leans closer Ooh, ooh, ooh Some of my secrets? Ooh Oh boy Ah, maybe some other time No, I want to know now No Suit yourself, sailor Oh my god, man you see that angry hog head? In the background? That's half swine apple right there. <laughs> <laughs> Suit yourself. Mary saunters off, setting her sights on the newest bar patron to enter. I happily watch the game over another beer. The game has gotten close in terms of points, a little too close than what I'm comfortable with. After a particularly skilled player scores a number of points, ah, this is so generic with the game shit. For the other team, putting them in the lead, I hear an affirmative grunt from another man at the bar. Mmm, grunt. Go team! It's the brooding man. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yes! Score! It's the brooding man from the coffee spoon. He sits alone, sipping whiskey and watching the game as well. Enjoying the game? I am for now. We're winning. Oh, we must be rooting for different teams. In my opinion, my team is far superior. I don't know if he'd really have that kind of, you know, you know. well, it works. I have to disagree with that based upon our win-loss record. I'd say that my team is far superior, dude. That's where you're going since as... Man, you're, you're, you're fucked up. <laughs> yours. You're fucked up right now. You're... Yes, that is Dracula. I could do Dracula. <laughs> the conversation ends, and there we both go back to silently rooting for our respective teams. The game is close. Mortals and vampires. With both sides playing their hardest to win. But in the end, my team prevails. Quiet cheers ripple throughout the bar. He's the only straight guy in town. <laughs> I, res- I raise a respectful glass at the man drinking whiskey. He raises his in response. An unspoken truce is formed between us based on mutual love for the game. He motions to the bartender, pours two glasses of whiskey. The man slides one over to me. What is a man? (laughs) A miserable pile of secrets. But enough talk. How about you? (laughs) Thanks. I'm Simon. Belmont. (laughs) Belmont. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you, you must be new here Mary already hit on you Yeah Robert <laughs> chuckles She's a peach Well you pick the best bar in town As slimy as it is You'll never find a better spot in Jim and Kim's Is there actually a Jim or Kim that runs this place? No That'd be Neil and Bob Neil waves from across the bar. Good guy, Neil. Not enough Neils in this world. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You a whiskey fella or a beer fella? Beer. Like I'll you- drink most things. Wink, wink. <laughs> you like shot? Oh, man, this guy is awesome. Robert's my new favorite. Uh, yeah. I like shots. No, I love, shot. I love me some shot. Ooh. Yeah. Scores the mm. points with Rob. Thank God. Robert nods to Neil, serves up two shots of whiskey, hands one to me. Here's to your health. We take the shots. The whiskey burns going down, but I try my hardest to look tough. Wait, I think this is what making friends is. Okay, Simon. 
this guy's out of my friend league. But I think if I play my cards right, we'll be pals in no time. Yeah, we'll be playing some magic gathering and holding hands. Wait, he's got a hand tattoo? Oh, yeah, he does. I see it underneath the speech thing or the selection thing. Compliment his cool leather jacket. Compliment his rugged good looks or his hand rugged. tattoo. The rugged, go with the rugged. rugged good looks. Your face is uh, good. Come on, Simon, with your egg titties. Oh, that that fucking worked. Oh yeah, dude, you hit you hit the right note there. <laughs> Bottoms <Thanks>. up, I bet. <laughs> uh, you go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I think this is what flirting is. Man, this guy's mysterious and cool. Way cooler than I am, at least. Robert signals to the bartender for another round. Check if there's glory holes in the bathroom. <laughs> yes. Ooh. What are you doing here tonight? Oh, that's a tough one, man. Do I want him to let? Do I, mean, I want to let? Sounds like you're ready to go. What? What should I say? I don't know if. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. What do you think? I, I'm. What? What do you guys think? Because this one's baffling me. This guy's mysterious and dark, and you know. I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards running away from my problems because yeah. this guy might be like, yeah, it's time to take advantage of this man. It's time to take advantage of egg titties. That's what I'm thinking. What do you guys think? F trying to make friends, running from my problems, daughter kicked me out. I don't, I don't want to make friends, though, man. I'm thinking this yeah, guy. I don't want to make friends. I want to make love. These guys are all voting make friends, man. Okay, fine. Make friends. We got Cranky yeah, Crank saying friends. running. Cool guy. Yeah, he doesn't want to make friends, man. He just wants to fucking hit it, dude. What the bone? Oh, my God. Friends, 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 friends. So that's one, two, three, four friends. Just got to go with it. Just go with it. Oh, man. Okay, guys. You guys are all wrong. I'm telling you now. I'm new in town. Figured it might be good to put myself out there. Hey, well, that. You guys might have been on to something here. You seem pretty cool. The key to being cool is acting like you don't care about anything, but actually care about deeply about everything to the point where it's debilitating. Really? Robert downs the rest of his drink. Of course not. He gets up. Be right back. Gotta powder my nose. Coke. Oh, come on now. Dude, you got an achievement. <laughs> I don't think that was an achievement. I think that was a friend uh, notification. I, oh. didn't, I think it was. I didn't notice it. How do your nose with Coke achievement? Never seen Robert this talkative. He must like you. Oh, that was your line. Ha, I guess so. I got to admit that Robert has a gruff charm to him. If a guy like that thinks I'm cool, then I really must be. Robert comes back from the bathroom and grabs his leather jacket. I'm going to go home. What the, you heading my way? What the fuck was that noise, man? <laughs> that was my cleaning up my sugar boogers. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Robert and I leave. <laughs> Robert and Just I go leave. with it, man. Just go with it. <laughs> Robert and I leave the bar and find ourselves walking in the same direction. I live in this cul-de-sac down the way. We all live here. It's all one big cul-de-sac. <laughs> Does everybody live there? Me too. We just finished unpacking the day. Great place to be. Good neighbors. Well, some of them egg tits. Who's that? We get to Robert's house, which is just a few houses away from mine. We stop and he turns to me. I don't kiss and tell, Simon. Another sack, pal. <laughs> oh. So are we doing this or oh, what? Oh, oh, oh my god. Yes. yes. Man, just get to the point. What? Indiana Jones, motherfucker. Oh my god, yes. You know, do you want to come inside or not? Mmm. A wave of realization rushes over me. I blush. Wait, 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 wait. What's Smile should I... and nod. You gotta smile and nod, man. Oh my you gotta god. Get somewhere. I... Oh my god. Smile and nod, guys. Smile and nod or lay it on smooth. Stick your tongue in his damn mouth. Do you want to want to ride my bike? <laughs> Smile and nod. First vote. Smile and nod. Second yes. vote. Who else? Come on, more people. Come on. Smash that like button. 
Smooth. Uh oh. Two two smiles Thank and one smooth. On. Two smiles and one smooth. Come on, guys. Three. So smile and nod wins it. Yeah. Dude, just go with it. Let's do it. Score. Dude, the penetration's gonna happen. <laughs> I follow him up to his door. He fumbles with his keys for a second and unlocks the door, leading me inside. The moment the door closes behind us, he pushes Oh my god. Oh my Yeah. He pushes he pushes me up against the wall and kisses me, grabbing my hips. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Robert takes my hand and leads me up the stairs and into what I assume is his bedroom, but it's so dark that I can't see anything but Robert's intense expression. He's got five kids. <laughs> <laughs> He kisses me again. I hear him chuck it off his jacket. I clumsily <laughs> take off mine too. His hands roam down my chest. Suddenly, he's tugging at my belt. <laughs> <laughs> Gary Haylock. Oh, I gotta go. Keep going, man. Just kidding, Ron. I, I know you got this in you. I uh, I don't normally do this. Do you want to stop? Dracula, don't fuck around. That's right. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What did he just you ask? Don't, you don't want to stop. Wait, Come he's on. Just, okay. I did. What did he say? Do you want to stop? So no, then, right? No, you don't want to stop. No, let's keep this going. No, no. Good. Robert continues to unbuckle my belt and guides me to the bed. <laughs> <laughs> let's have some fun. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> So, oh, wait, it's the morning already? Oh, shit, cigarettes, <laughs> beer cans everywhere. What the hell else has got over here? ass in the room. Fucking shot glasses. Is there any... No. Sunlight streams in between the slats of the blinds. My head is pounding. I really overdid it last night. Wait a minute. This isn't my old house or my new house. Oh, right. I look around for Robert. But find myself alone. Hello? You're going to get the achievement way too easy. There's a clatter from the bathroom and the door's open. Robert is fully dressed and grabs his keys. <clears throat> that was fun. Yeah, it was. You should go. Fucking hit it and quit it, man. Look at this guy. That's certainly not what I was expecting or hoping for. Well, uh, talk to you later. Robert cracks a smile. He cacks a smile. Sure. Your clothes are over there. Cacula vanishes in daylight. <laughs> <laughs> I hastily get dressed and show myself out. The sun is unbearably bright. I need to lie down. I start to make my way back home when I suddenly remember Amanda. Oh, achievement unlocked. Bad dad. Yes. Dude, you're a bad dad. I rush back home and throw the door <gasps> open. Something smells delicious. <laughs> Ouch, my ass. <laughs> Amanda. Amanda runs out of the kitchen and looks slightly disappointed. Oh, man. I was kind of hoping you had gotten kidnapped and that I was going to have to come to rescue you. <laughs> no, I uh, made a friend at the bar last night and ended up sleeping over at his place. Where are the Emmas? They left a while ago. <laughs> oh, you guys have fun? Yeah. Watch some movies, ate some snacks, stole a car. You know, usual sleepover stuff. <laughs> you teens and your larceny. So, this breakfast that's cooking, what's that all about? Well, there's hash browns and egg tits and bacon. <laughs> can I... Yes, you can have some of my breakfast. <laughs> Bless you, sweet child. After all that freaking smashing freaking worked up an appetite my head throbs Ugh. got to do something about this hangover amanda your loving father might have overdone it last night oh somebody's hungover father of the year you wouldn't happen to have any aspirin or i've got just the thing hang on she's gonna grab a bag of ice she said she's getting some pickles amanda what <laughs> Drink this. The pickle juice? I had enough pickle juice last night. That's what got me into this mess. Yep. It's 
what I used once. Uh, would assume something would use. I would also use that. It works pretty well. Although I've never tried it before and won't try it, obviously. Who gave you alcohol? Was it one of your various Emmas in your life? <laughs> Dad, chill. Amanda, I've never had an ounce of chill in my life, and you should know that by now. You better not be drinking alcohol in this household. Uh-oh, just drink the juice. Had plenty of that. This better work. I down a sip of tart juice. Tart juice? <laughs> oh, no, more than that. Way more than that. <laughs> smells Splash like bacon where Bob face. burnt that ass up. What? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I assume. Watch it, you. I drink more pickle juice. Help myself to it. <laughs> had so much pickle yeah. juice the past couple days in this neighborhood. My God. It helped myself to the delicious breakfast that Amanda has graciously allowed me to partake in. After inhaling some hash browns and dunking several pieces of bacon and a runny egg yolk, I'm starting to feel a little better. Amanda grabs her backpack and keys. Well, I gotta get to class. Don't forget the meeting with Mr. Vega, okay? He said it was important. Love ya. I'll be there. Knock him dead, kiddo. Always do. We do our secret handshake and she's off. I get a little work done at home before I glance at my watch. See that? It's almost time for the meeting. Hop in the shower, change clothes, head on my way. Still a little hungover. Oh, man. <laughs> I arrive at Amanda's school and check in at the front desk. They give me a bright orange visitor sticker and send me on my way. I feel pretty haggard after not brushing my teeth or showering, but hopefully... Nobody will notice. Nobody will notice that ammonia smell in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I check my watch and I'm relieved to see that I'm only two minutes late. Wait, was it room 103, 108? I spot a youth standing at his locker and approach him for help. Excuse me, do you know where Mr. Vegas' classroom is? You young, handsome fella? Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. He's got a 666 on his wrist. What's going on here? Dude, this guy loves the devil. Yes, he does. The youth turns around and looks me up and down with heavily lined eyes. He's 18. He's legal. Less I. Come on, kid. I'm late for a meeting. Mr. Who? Mr. Vega. I don't know. Have you ever tried the exit? Yeah, it's a la carte there. <laughs> okay, wise guy, are you going to help me or not? <sighs> Fine. Up those stairs and to the left. Can't miss it. <laughs> fucking, fucking country cleaners. <laughs> uh, I head up the stairs and walk around, unable to find Mr. Vegas' class anywhere. After a couple minutes search, I head back downstairs. That punk youth sent me on a wild goose chase. I get back to where the low rent Gerard Way is standing, fully ready to give him a piece of my mind when suddenly a head pops out of the classroom next to his locker. Lucian, don't you have a third period to get to? <laughs> uh, fine, Mr. Vega. Wow. Now I'm officially ten minutes late. I glare at him as he walks away. We're not cool. You must be Simon. This period's almost over. Would you mind waiting in the back? <laughs> Oral fixation much? <laughs> Mr. Vega leads me in and I take a seat in one of the comically small students' desks in the back. I might get stuck in this. All right. Where were we now? Who can you tell me about this unreliably of the narrated J.D. <laughs> Salington's catcher in the rye? <laughs> I think you missed a couple beats there, but that's all right. Yeah, I did. <laughs> yes, Colin? Colin stands up and does the thing where he blows into the crook of his elbow to make a fart noise. The whole class erupts in laughter. I don't see nobody sitting here. Huh. All right, everybody. Very funny. Colin, please sit down. Now, Holden Caulfield is the unreliable narrator. 
in the sense that the bell for the end of the period rings. All of a sudden, the students immediately get up and make a break for the door. Remember to do the reading and answer the response questions on page 194 in your textbook. Nobody's listening. Or not, I guess. Mr. Vega turns to me and sighs. Middle schoolers, right? Don't you teach high schoolers? Both, you know, budget cuts. Right. Thanks so much for coming in. No problem, Mr. Vega. Please, call me Hugo, egg tits. <laughs> I don't normally do this impromptu parent-teacher meeting, but as I am sure you know that Amanda is a very bright student, and I'm concerned about her recent behavior. Mm, what's going on? Amanda's never been the most engaged student, but I know she cares recently. Though she's been falling behind, she's not completing her assignments, and she's been doing rather poorly in classes. I'd normally chalk this up to seniorist, but... <laughs> this is strange. I thought Amanda always shared everything with me. Hadn't even crossed my mind that something might be wrong. I just wanted to ask, is everything okay at home? Yeah, we just moved. Well, we just moved recently, but it was only the uh, to the other side of town. Amanda was more excited about it than I was. See, if you could talk about it, I know she values you a great deal and would appreciate your guidance if she keeps heading down this road. I know how important art I know school. How important oh, that's you. <laughs> art school is. <laughs> would hate to see if see her miss out on the scholarship money. That is clearly deserves. Okay, okay, let's 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 keep it. I'll make sure to talk to Amanda. Thanks for letting me know, Hugo. Anytime. On my way out, I stopped thinking for a moment. I turned to Hugo. Hey, Hugo. Yes. They ever catch that rye? <laughs> <laughs> nah, mean. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. <laughs> I leave the classroom and make my way out of the school. I'm still a little bit in shock that Amanda was able to hide this so well from me. She's always been such a force for positivity in my life, especially after we lost her father. Amanda must be done with classes for the day by now. I'm sure she would appreciate a ride home. Maybe I could talk to her about what's going on. I pull up to the carpool and Amanda hops into the passenger seat. So did you have fun gossiping about me? Mr. Vega and I actually just gossiped about our celebrity crushes. So you talked about Mario <laughs> Batelli the whole time. Oh, it was a very productive meeting. I'm pretty hungry. Can we grab some dinner? Sure thing. Uh, let's go to the mall food court. You're not going to meet any new men at home. No. Does that sound good to you? Yeah, sure. Why the mall? Geez, can a dad take his daughter to the mall? Will you buy me things? I'll buy uh, you a thing, singular. Sounds like a... <laughs> Are you all right over there, man? <laughs> we drive in... It's like... <laughs> <laughs> it's like 2.30 over where you're at, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, we drive in silence for a short while. Amanda plays a game on her phone. I should say something. Hmm. You know, sometimes when a kid gets older, they find that they have to keep things hidden from their parents. And that's okay, because sometimes that's what kids do. And that's okay, but also sometimes it's good to have the parents' perspective, because, you know, maybe parents also have dealt with similar situations. <laughs> and maybe they're a little cooler than you give them credit for anyway. What I'm trying to say is that it's good to share. Love you. Have you been reading my tweet? <laughs> you have a Twitter? What? Never mind. Look, sweetie, Mr. Vegas said you haven't been participating in class. Now you're not turning things in. Oh, I'm fine, Pops. Senioritis and all that. I thought you liked Mr. Vegas' class. It's fine. He's fine. 
We pull up to a stoplight and I eye Amanda. She's still texting. Just, I want you to know that you could talk to me about anything. Uh-huh. I could tell that whatever it is, she doesn't want, to be, want me knowing about it. That's frustrating. Uh, I heard Emma R is going to that fancy art school in California. That's exciting. Yep. Are you bummed that you guys aren't going to the same school? Yep. Amanda keeps texting. She stifles a laugh. What's so funny? Uh, it's, uh, I don't think you'd get it. Okay. Who are you texting? Noah. <laughs> Dad, why are you such a man ho? Who's Noah? My friend, not yours. Does he go to your school? Is he hot? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Do you like Noah? What? No, Dad. Uh, I can't believe you would... Jad. Kilbasa again. I mean, jeez. Why would you... Uh... Gross. It's sassy goth kid. Sorry, sorry, just asking. Dad, he's just my friend. Guys and girls can be friends. He's my friend. Okay, okay. Jeez. This is going well. Well, good talk. Love you, kiddo. She leans forward and turns up the radio. I guess that conversation is over. To the mall, then. It's called what? I didn't get to read that shit again. We're not learning anything. We arrive at the mall. A big indoor shopping center with a couple different floors. Kind of dead. That doesn't stop a mall security guard from yelling at a group of loitering teens. Let's eat something disgusting for dinner. Hell yeah. Language, Missy. Heck yeah. Better. We approach the food cart court and evaluate our options. There's greasy restaurant after greasy restaurant. My heart burns just looking at the menus. Nobody looks happy to be here. Bunch of sad dads. <laughs> what are you in the mood for? Bread dipped in sugar? Bread with cheese on it? Or do you just want to inject some fat directly into your bloodstream? I extend my hand to her. Would you do me the honor of sharing some nachos? She takes my hand with a grin. It would make me happiest, cheesiest girl alive. We order a giant pile of chips and a naturally orange cheese from a very unenthusiastic and possibly stoned teenager. We take a seat at a rickety table and dig in. These are bad. These are very bad. But also strangely delicious. We have to eat, though, the pain. Through the pain. We enjoy the fluorescent cheesy goodness together until we're all out of nachos. So, something's been bothering me for a while. Can you explain memes to me? Let's I. Which meme? Oh, all memes. Amanda sighs deeply and places her head in her hands. Dad, it's complicated. See, memes are inside jokes shared by a bunch of people. They get less funny the more people do it. So the problem is that by the time the meme gets to you, Dad, all of us use have already done the joke to death. And that's worth... Worse than that it's movies and TV and video games will try to jump in the meme train and just based on how long it takes to make them, the meme will go long dead by the time it comes out. So it just dates it and it's funny. It's a lot of reading. Oh shit, what up? <laughs> <laughs> Dad, please. Anyway, changing the subject. Where to now? Want to go to that goth store? Oh, snap. Fuck yeah. What? And you know, the one that's all black and tries to establish itself as the anti-establishment, despite being an exact representation of the establishment? I don't know what store you're talking about. You know, the one where you could buy chain wallets and it's basically an assault on what people fought so hard against in the punk and hardcore movements of the 70s and 80s? 
Dude, you got to be more specific. The one you threw up in that one time. Oh, that one. <laughs> Amanda runs into the store with me trailing behind her. She makes a beeline for the back. There it is. You can still see the outline, kind of. I'm so proud. Speech. Amanda. Speech, 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 speech. All right, I'll do it if you stop chanting. Amanda stops immediately. I clear my throat. Thank you all for joining us here today to commemorate an historic moment that would forever shape history. On a day very much like today, some five years ago, our very own Amanda and Belmont had too much blue raspberry slushy on an outing to the mall. After begging her father to take her to dead goth and beyond to buy rainbow suspenders, she proceeded to throw up all over a display of My Chemical Romance merchandise. Her loving father then had to pay for said merchandise, which, to this day, remains among our possessions. Thank you. <laughs> Betty dipped his cack in the cheese. <laughs> Amanda's move. She begins clapping. Slow at first and faster and more vigorously. Several other patients turn their heads. One of them also starts clapping. I bow my head. Oh, hey, chain wallet. While Amanda busies herself looking at band t-shirts, I try to find something of interest to myself. Not much for a dad to look at in Dead Goth and Beyond. Hmm, hmm. I'm going to look at the ironic mugs. I'm suddenly stricken by existential fear. If there's only one number one dad. Then why are there so many mugs here that say that? This whole time I thought I was the only one. If I'm not number one, where do I place in the global dad ranking charts? I've, I've, I've work to do. Look, this is very important to me. Oh, shit. I Dude, over fucking Dracula. I overhear a stifled argument over at the cash register. An older gentleman is carrying a garment and showing it to a bored-looking cashier with pink hair. And he's wearing a cape. Yes. I could see that. Don't know what I could tell you, dude. It just work here. It's Cacula. <laughs> Listen, when I bought this online, the website said the blouse was Victorian-inspired. However, when I received it, it's clearly held the trademark of Edwardian dressage. Do you want a coupon? I can have a... I could give you a coupon. Will you leave if I give you a coupon? Is there a manager present... People have to know what they're buying. I am the manager. Confusing man. I can... Well, it would seem that I have outstayed my welcome. Good day, shopkeep. Your superiors will receive a strongly worded letter by post. <laughs> Whatever, dude. <laughs> Cacula, I want to suck your bean juice. <laughs> <laughs> The man whirls around and storms out, his literal coattails trailing behind him. I can't tell if they are Victorian-inspired or Edwardian in nature. Amanda trots up to me with a t-shirt in her hand. Oh boy, here it comes. Eee, Dad Tron 5000. Yes, I'll buy it for you. Wow, that was easy. Thanks. At least it's only one this time. Amanda plops shirt on the counter and grins at the cashier. I love your... Oh, that's you. I love your hair. <laughs> oh, look. Rob Zombie anal beads, and they're on sale. <laughs> nice. <laughs> the cashier says nothing and rings Amanda up, radiating hatred. I hand her a 20. So what was that guy's deal? The cashier rolls her eyes so hard, I'm worried she's, she'll pull something. That's Damien. <laughs> He's in here all the time. He's obsessed with Victorian fashion or whatever. She hands Amanda her bag and it clears the conversation and it's clear the conversation is over. Make our way out the store and head home to get some rest. Amanda and I sit on the couch trying to find something to watch over bowls of ice cream. I wonder if this is a good place to just stop for now. If we could save. Should we stop or should we continue? What time are we sitting at? It's getting close to midnight here, getting close to 3 a.m. for you. What do you think, Paps? Continue or... I'll let the people speak. What do you guys save? Yeah, I think it's time to save and, and continue on another stream. 
I just noticed my pants are unzipped. Crazy. <laughs> this got real hot. <laughs> Gary, I'm tired too, man. My eyes are, wow, this game did it for me. M Mr. Cannon Fodder wants to go he on. He can't have enough. He Gr needs more. Gregor wants to go on. <laughs> Heck, I've been up from 5 a.m. for this. Save it. <laughs> it's 3.30 here. He can sense the blood pulsing through your cack. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got, you know, pretty even go on and people being tired. We're only getting it drunker, so. We're dipping on the watch list, so, I mean, it's it might be time to call it quits, I want to say. I am going <laughs> to start doing um, at least two streams a week, Wednesday and Friday. Maybe try to squeeze another one in here and there. Um, so, you know, we'll be continuing this at another time. But I guess, yeah, we could probably go on for a few more minutes, I guess. This live beat the D&D &D funny game. Lots of joke material, that's for sure. Mr. Cannon Fodder, you bunch of little girls. All right, let's continue for a few more minutes. We'll continue for a little bit more. We'll, we'll, let's wait until we see who the next hot dad is. Oh, cool. Long Haul Paranormal Ice Road Ghost Truckers is on. Your favorite, right? <laughs> oh, hell yes. They have to make it over the Canadian tundra before the ice road melts, but they're also they're hunting ghosts. <laughs> also, the trucks are haunted. This is an episode I've already seen, but it's one of the best. Callum and Flint Dogbone, the twin brother truck driving and ghost hunting duo, find themselves in the greatest peril yet. Oh, no, the ghosts have got a control of the truck. I can't steer <laughs> on them here, damn ice roads. <laughs> oh, the country Cletus has got a point. Cac Cacula is nocturnal, something to think about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Next line, is that you? Uh, let me use this EVP meter to try to communicate with the spirits. Flynn, we're about to die. Oh, almost got it. If you listen carefully, it sounds like it's saying you're going to die. <laughs> That's because we're about to die, you. This is an art. The episode ends and Amanda excuses herself to go and start arguments on the internet. There you go. I stay up a little longer, curious about the exploits of Caleb and Flint, Dogbone, after their disastrous... Ice road accident. Afterward, I crawl on the bed, get a good night's sleep. Always use a coat of wax after a wash. Dad tip number 16. Snores. Oh, there you go. Shoot. Morning, sleepyhead. Five more minutes. You have never, ever let me have five more minutes, so get up. <laughs> Yeah, Country Cletus, I feel you on that. He doesn't know how much longer he could keep this intensity up. Fine. Got to get up early to get the man meat. We have cereal for breakfast, spend the morning putting together furniture. Amanda's much better at interpreting the tiny manuals. Uh, we're able to put together a few shelves and one desk, but I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be a bookcase. So you're excited for the cookout today? Oh, yeah, the Aryan motherfucker. Excited to beef up my... If there's food, I'm excited. I'm all over those terrible store-bought sugar cookies that everyone brings to parties. Yeah, those are bad. Okay. Which means there are more for me. Don't... Don't you want to meet some of the people in the neighborhood? I'll probably end up standing uncomfortably in the corner with a plate of food and hope that nobody talks to me. Dad, your beautiful work in progress. We'll get that butterfly to emerge from the cocoon. The cocoon. Co cocoon. <laughs> the social butterfly. Well, we better start getting ready. We definitely don't want to be late. What? No. We have to be fashionably late. Who shows up at the cookout on time? <laughs> you know what? We're going early just because you said that. I head out the door and Amanda reluctantly <clears throat> follows. We walk across the street to Joseph's house with a store-bought veggie plate. I'm a terrible cook if it doesn't involve a grill. The cocoon. Guess we're not as early as we thought we were. Joseph's backyard is already packed with people and the smell of hot dogs. 
wafts through the air. Small children run through a sprinkler and adults chat in small clusters. I set her veggie plate down on a table next to two other veggie plates, huh? Hey, there's Joseph. I wave to get his attention. The moment he sees us, he jogs over, arms open wide. Welcome. I'm so glad you two are here. And you brought veggies. Let me introduce you to my family. Yeah. Kids, come over here. This is Chris, my eldest. The children of the corn. Hi. This is Christian and Christine. They're twins. Ugh. They stare creepily and say nothing. Then, of course, there's my youngest, Chris. Wait. Where is Chris? Maybe Mary put him in his crib. Mary? Did he just say Mary? He did. Oh, shit. A whole lot of faking going on. Here. Oh, shit. Dude, it got real. That's what I'm saying. You didn't remember Mary, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, no. It's the woman from the bar. At least we think it's a woman. <clears throat> what is she doing here? She's racing for your cock. <laughs> your... Oh, and how could I forget my lovely wife, Mary? Joseph pecks her on the cheek. She smiles while her sack falls out of the side of her skirt. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mary, sweetheart. Did you put cack to bed? <laughs> I'll have to go look for him. What? <laughs> you have to. Joseph takes a moment and regains his composure. Mary, this is our new neighbor, Simon, and his daughter, Amanda Belmont. <laughs> I'd shake her hand, but I have a glass of wine that needs to tend to. I love her. Nice to uh, meet you, Mary, for the first time. Charmed. Well, I have to go over there now. Mary leaves. Oh, God, this is so awkward. I wonder if Joseph knows. I wonder if Mary... Mary and Joseph? Come on now. <laughs> I wonder if Mary knows that Joseph knows. No there. I, I wonder if Joseph knows that Mary knows that I know. It takes all my energy not to run away from the barbecue and start fresh in a new city. Three ball. <laughs> <laughs> my wife has a wonderful sense of humor. But please, you two enjoy the barbecue. All the guys are really excited to meet you. Ooh, a lot of guys. We have bananas, kielbasas, and wieners. <laughs> wow, I think I've actually met everybody else. Great. I bet you're excited to get to know everybody better. Hope you both enjoy yourselves. Amanda and I mill around. And try some of the food spread out on the table. I pick at some deviled eggs. Amanda grabs a small paper plate and immediately begins piling it with baked goods. Ugh, I don't want to have to make friends. Come on, Dad. Who are you going to party with then? I'll go off to school. But I don't want to have to do pleasantries. Dad. Ugh, they're going to talk about weather... Go do it. Make a friend. But how could I possibly abandon my only child at a social function? That's bad parenting. This plate of cookies is my new dad. Bye. Amanda shoves me in the center of the yard. Well, here goes nothing. I look around the party and I'm surprised to see some, some, some familiar faces. Isn't that the barista from the coffee span? Oh, dang. Robert's here. Didn't that guy throw a frisbee at my head? Isn't that the guy who was throwing a fit in Dead Goth and Beyond? Isn't that Amanda's teacher? Hey, I know Craig. But wait a second. All of these people live in our cul-de-sac. That can't be right. I'd better investigate. Hmm. I think my two favorites are Robert and Brian, so I think I'm going to talk to those guys. Oh, there we go. Three-way. Cacula. Yeah, I should have talked to Cacula, but, you know. I walk over to Robert and Brian, who are chatting over drinks, determined not to be weird about what happened that night. Hope Robert feels the same way. Hey, guys. 
Simon, how the heck are you settling in the neighborhood all right? Oh, you betcha. Got the living room in order, at least. That's great to hear. I've been doing some living room work as well. Finally got the 50-inch in there. The game looks really in high def. Oh, boy. Simon, have you met Robert yet? Mm, yes, I believe we met briefly. Hey. Robert takes a long sip of whiskey. Yeah, what are the odds of him finding that much cack in another town? He hit the cack pot. Robert <laughs> robotically extends a hand. I shake it as he stares unblinkingly into my eyes. Oh, God, what does it mean? Uh, how's it going? It's good. Robert focuses on the whiskey he's holding. He takes a long sip. Great. Look at my friends becoming friends. Us dads got to stick together, you know. Us dads? Robert has a kid? Oh, I didn't know you had kids. Robert continues to stare at me. Jesus, does this guy ever blink? Yep. Cool. That's cool. We stand in incredibly uncomfortable silence for several moments until... We got to get off this haunted truck. Oh, no. The ghost locked the doors. Daisy and Amanda run up to us. Thank God. Quick, hit the emergency escape button. But truck... Oh, that's you. But trucks don't have emergency escape buttons. Uh, then hit the brake, I guess. And then we'll get out of the truck. The imaginary truck. Creepy kids. <laughs> anyway, we're safe from the ghosts. But now we'll ever survive this arctic tundra. Daisy might have to eat Eat me. Are you prepared to do that? <laughs> I'm prepared to do anything to survive. That's cold-blooded. Oh, I like that. Although I'm not sure I have the materials required to properly cook you. Wait a second. Are you guys playing long-haul ice road paranormal ghost truckers? <laughs> Yeah. Amanda and I love that show. It's the best, especially the episode where Colin hides Flint's keys and... Flint, reta Flint retaliates by breaking an ancient curse urn, cursed urn and sending the spirit after him. Yeah, such quality reality television. All right, Daisy, I found a couple of bugs. They're going to make a real meal. Lots of protein. Going to keep us starving out of here, the harsh, icy wasteland. But there's this whole table of food right over the... Daisy, it's a game. We're playing pretend. It's like what kids do. Little, little. Amanda gives Daisy a handful of gummy worms from the snack table. They eat them with mock disgust. Let's go find kindling for the fire. Okay. But not an actual fire. Because we're playing pretend. Now you're getting it. Daisy and Amanda Daisy. run off. What a cute couple of kids. I turn my attention back to the conversation, but wait, where did Robert go? I skim the party and finally find him in the corner talking to Mary. Does does he not want to talk? Man, I've never seen... Oops. Oh. I snap out of my Robert-induced haze. I guess Amanda just sort of has a way with kids. That's kind of amazing. Daisy doesn't really get along with kids her age. Hmm. It's nice that he's not trying to one-up me this time. Maybe we can have a regular friendship after all. Really? <laughs> She just kind of keeps to herself. Her teachers say she spends every recess in the library. I think the other kids are intimidated by her intelligence. <laughs> there it is. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Amanda was shy at Daisy's age, too. She used to have a habit of crawling under tables and crying every time we took her to a restaurant. She bit people, too. Oh, ho, ho, kids, right? Gotta love them. You're required to by law. 
Well, since they're getting along so well, maybe we should put together a little play date with them. Yeah, that'd be nice. Well, I don't want to take too much of your time. Go meet some of the other fellas. <laughs> hmm. I don't know if I want to meet any of those other guys. I want a burger. And without, <laughs> <laughs> and without further ado, let's get some more magic. Joseph closes his eyes. So bad. I'll be right back. Yeah, takes a deep breath I'm out. I'm out. and gets to work. With the greatest of ease, he sets patties on the grill, flourishing as he flips his spatula in the air. It's easily some of the best grill work I've ever seen. You guys think this is my first time in front of a grill? He's working faster now, effortlessly tossing cheese on the patties and perfectly grilling onions on the side, one after another. The dads take notice and crowd around Joseph to admire his masterful technique. Uh oh. Gotta wait for Paps. I don't, don't want him to miss anything here. Don't want him to miss anything. Oh, shit. Oops. Thanks, guys. I have a whole new retrospect for retro gaming. Hey, no problem. <laughs> this was a, a big request, and this game was gifted to me, so it was kind of like, hey, let's do it. I had to, like, piss 64 ounces of beer. Damn it. <laughs> well, I, I see. You probably didn't know this, Simon, but Joseph is known around here for his grillmanship. <laughs> He's ungrillable. I've, tr oh, I've tried to get his level, but I just can't catch up. <laughs> Let us keep studying all oh, the puns. They never stop. <laughs> he has a rare quality about him. I like the flower tiara. Oh, my God. Mustard, we keep talking about this. Can't we just appreciate the artist? We've never seen him make a mistake. Okay, we need to stop. This is getting <laughs> too cheesy. Please stop. <laughs> Egg Chen, can I put this on a raspberry pie? <laughs> <laughs> All the children at the party boo the glorious display of punts and unison. All right, guys, the food's ready. Please form a orderly barbecue. Amanda groans. We all grab our food and hang out, enjoying perfectly cooked cheeseburgers. Mm. Man, it's so wild how all of us dads live in the same cul-de-sac. Kind of nice, isn't it? It feels like there's real community here. Totally helps when you're just a single dad trying to raise a kid or six. <laughs> We're happy to have you here, man. I think you're going to like this neighborhood a lot. Plus, Amanda seems to be getting along with all the other kids. If she decides to get into the babysitting game, she'll really make her killing. Hey, why don't you add us to your daddy book? Dad book? Yeah, it's a great social network for dads to keep in touch with each other. We're all on it. So if you ever need to reach out in to anybody, that's the simplest way to do it. Sorry, I'm just an old-fashioned dad. Social media goes over my head sometimes. Don't worry, Pops. I'll help you figure it out. The rest of the barbecue goes smoothly. We all smoothly. We all trade stories and drink beer as our kids play on the lawn. Amanda breaks up a fight between Carmencita and those weird twins. I think they wanted her soul. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Welcome to the neighborhood. Amanda and I walk back to our place. Sun sets over the neighborhood. Pretty fun party, don't you think? I mean, I got a burger in me. Sweetie, if I can impart any sort of wisdom upon you right now, and not that this was a bad situation, 
but you're ever in an uncomfortable situation, always look for the silver lining. Silver linings get you through to the other side. We ate Rockenbergs today, and it was good. Amen. Well, hey, at least you met some other cool dads. You shouldn't hit them up on Dad Book. Maybe I will if I ever figure out how social media works. I have a good feeling about this place. Meet you, Dad. Whoa. Matt and I arrive home with the remnants of our veggie plate. Hmm. Seems like nobody was really in the cauliflower. Any big plans for this evening? Actually, yeah. I'm going out with some friends. Oh. Is that okay? Of course. Just keep me posted. Be home before midnight. You caught it. And be careful. I will. Make good choices. Of course I'm on the pill. And call me if you need anything. Dad, you're not going to do the whole thing where you wait silently for me to come home in the living room with all the lights on, are you? What? No, never done that. And I never, and I will never do that. Okay. Do you have any plans tonight? I, uh, plans were kind of eat ice cream and watch TV with Amanda, but I'll find something to do. I'm going to mm-hmm. find some cack. I'm going to work on some stuff. You know dad stuff. <laughs> Just relax in the night. Have fun, okay? Great. See you later. Watch Amanda drive off into the night. Really do hope she has some fun. Plop down in front of the TV and turn on some wine and dine mastermind with celebrity chef Gavin Chapman. Looks like Gavin's making a roasted cack of lamb with rosemary mashed potatoes. <laughs> I'd love to be able to, to cook like that. Although I think if I was actually good at cooking... I'd use my powers for evil, like just making bake Alaskas all day instead of any food of real nutritional sub- substance. Man, Gavin Chapman just caught that thing on fire, but he meant to do it. What a professional. Lose track of time as I blaze through several episodes of Wine and Dine, Mastermind, and also one episode of some cooking show called Meat Hell. I'm not even sure what that one was about. It's just a lot of yelling. I glance at my watch. Man, it's almost midnight. I should check in with Amanda. I send a text. Hey, kiddo, you good? That was me. That was me. I wander into the kitchen as I wait for a reply. Amanda's phone is almost always in her hand, so I'm sure she'll respond soon. Unless she's driving home now, in which case I hope she doesn't respond soon, because definitely taught her better than to text and drive. Reach into the freezer, grab an ice cream sandwich. It's a little late for this, but I think I earned it after a long day of cackalizing. I check my watch again, and then my phone. Nothing yet. Hmm. Okay, see, now I'm worried. Do I call her? Do I call the cops? No, no. It's too soon for that. I'll just send her a gentle reminder text. What's up? Half an hour passed. Now I'm really worried. The episodes of Gavin Chapman's Meat Hell are not only not assuaging my anxiety, but possibly exacerbating, masturbating it with all the (laughs) yelling. So I keep pacing around the house, waiting for her to come back. You bang Robert and tell her to be careful? What kind of a dad are you? Why didn't I find out where she was going? Who was she even with? Why do I even know any of her friends' phone numbers? Why don't I even know any of her friends' full names? Who was Emma P? I decided to send her another text. Amanda, please text me and let me know you're okay. Can't help but think all of the awful things could have happened to her. Oh, thank God, it's her. Amanda opens the door and shuffles in. Finally, finally she's back home. Glad she's okay. Sup? Sweetie, thank God you're safe. Uh, yep. But now that I know she's okay, I'm really mad. Why didn't you answer my texts? Amanda pulls her phone out of her pocket. Uh, whoops. I guess I didn't see those. She starts to walk to her room. Amanda Ann Belmont. (laughs) Whoa, we're pulling out of the middle name now? Amanda, you came home an hour and a half after your curfew, and you didn't respond to any of my texts. You really freaked me to fuck out. I was about to call the police. Dad, you're seriously overacting. You're not going to be like this when I go off to school, are you? I don't like your attitude. You can't talk to me like that. Are you serious? Stop treating me like I'm a child. <laughs> And stop acting like one. I told you to check in with me and you didn't. 
How am I supposed to trust you to make good choices when you move out if you can't even check in with me? I sit down on the couch, put my head in my hands. I feel very tired of all, all of a sudden. You really scared me. Just please, don't do that shit again. All right. I'm going to go to bed now. With a yammy full of sperm. <laughs> Amanda, <laughs> Amanda closes the door to her room and I head to mine. Jeez. As I'm falling asleep, one thing she said keeps echoing in my mind. You're not going to be like this when I go off to school, are you? Definitely didn't sleep well last night. I brew some strong coffee and make some scramby eggs for Amanda as a peace offering. She eventually wanders into the kitchen. Hey. <laughs> You're not my real dad. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about what you said last night. I should have texted you. I said I was going to do it, but I didn't. Honestly, I just didn't even think about it. I'm really sorry, Pops. I won't do it again. Well. Good. <laughs> Keep it simple. <laughs> All right. Want some eggs? Whatevs. You want, you, know, you want some titty sprinkle eggs? Sprinkle some cheese on them, egg tits. <laughs> sprinkle some cheese on my egg titties. <laughs> Already did. Oh, yeah. Bless you. Amanda scarfs down the eggs and the time it takes me to wash the pan. All right, I'm off to school. Smell you later, egg tits. <laughs> Wait, one more thing before you go. What? What's dad book? It's a social media platform. Silly. Wait. What? What's social media platform? Dad, I have to go to school. <laughs> Come on, Amanda. I'm an old man. I can't put together a dad book profile on my own. All right. I'll help you with some sound interesting, interesting on the internet. Man, it spends the next couple minutes setting up my profile, which turns out dads get together to talk about fatherhood. Yay. All right, Pops, you got to fill out your profile. Let's get some likes and dislikes. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, dude, the daddy tips are gone. The dad tip just, like, disappeared quickly. Dude, we're On a Friday night. Guys. All right, let's do this dad book selections and then uh, call it quits for the night. So let's All get right. this going. On a Friday night, you're most likely to... No, fall asleep watching a tournament with my children with dad puns sink into blissful. No, we're going to Netflix and grill, baby. Yeah. If you had Swine one apple. thing to take with you on a dessert island, what would it be? A swine apple. The lost shaker, salt castaway, a boat. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's for my children. Uh, I don't need anything. What are your turn-ons? Strong dad arms, obviously. Yes. What did you want to be when you grew up? Technical writer, salty boat captain, pro skater is also an astronaut. Uh, I'm going to say... Salty boat captain. Yeah, there we go. What's your favorite movie genre? Or Sean Connery's and... <laughs> whatever, will make, whatever will make me cry. <laughs> whatever will make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> What's your ideal date? Doing a thousand pieces, eating a healthy dinner, trying to ge geocatch but getting hopelessly lost, no. arson, being emotionally vulnerable. What? Yes. There yes. we go. Ego vulnerable. What do you never leave home without? A sensible cardigan? A sick, my, my sick vape? Yes. <laughs> I didn't even have to read the rest. Spend a lot of time thinking about... Potential ends of the world. If I love myself as much as I love my grill. When can I... I th they're all sucky. Conspiracy theories. Conspiracy theories. <laughs> <laughs> See, wasn't that so bad? Yeah, that was actually kind of fun. I could totally spend all day on here just looking at people's profiles. You should mess with one of them. For one of them. All of these dads seem pretty interesting. They sure do. Okay, I promise I'll make some friends. Amanda gives me a hug. Go get him, Dad, egg kit. Oh, shit, I could... Oh, man, see, I, I want to continue this, but we're going to save. 
We're gonna save. Time, we're gonna save time, right now. Time we're gonna too drunk to read. We're gonna stop right here. Next time, I'm not gonna play this off stream. So next time, <laughs> next time I play this, it's it's gonna be from this point on a stream. So let's make sure we're saving the fucking game. So guys, it's this has been awesome. It's been a long night. Does Egg Tits even have a job? That's what I'm saying. What does he do? <laughs> But I really appreciate you guys staying tuned. Thanks to Paps for you know helping out with the uh, the voice acting for these characters here. Um, <laughs> uh, it's getting late. It's it's you know it's it's nighty night time. You know what I mean? But <laughs> smash that like button if you could. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. All that snazzy wonderful stuff. Check out the Facebook group. You know our dad book group. Whatever we got going on over there. Okay. Yeah, I'm hitting up Phil. I will catch you guys next time. Peace guys. Let me try to let me try to end this stream. Thanks guys. Boom.